this other property just to uh, make a couple of uh, just make a visit check up on things see how things are doing and I wanted to kind of take a different uh, view at this and turn the camera around and kind of differentiate between what's weeds kind of identify what is actually growing here and um, some of the things that are going on in this little little bit of land that are actually good um, but some of the small tweaks that I've made just to show you how I'm maintaining all the things I've planted here so I I would say that about two years ago if I were to walk into this property I would think that it was just a I don't know, dumpy ground for some wood chips possibly nothing but weeds were growing in here but now I know differently, well, there is some thistle coming up, and I've cut some of that down just a few days ago and threw it out here. That'll be mowed up and put back into the ground. And there's, there's thistle all throughout here. You can see thistle, thistle, thistle. You can see some of the stuff that I've chopped straight ahead, um, but also, Here's an elderberry, planted right there, comes up and it's growing up. And there was some thistle here that I'd cut down, it was a little bit taller. And I don't, I actually want as much stuff to grow here as possible, all I'm doing is just adding to, specifically just adding to what I want. And all this thistle is going to be, um, doing photosynthesis which will be capturing sunlight and then putting sugars into the ground which is going to bring in more soil life which is going to break down more rocks and you know clay particles and all that stuff this is going to free it up for the plants so even though there's a whole bunch of thistle right here there's also walking onions that patch of asparagus that I've put in and that's already ferning out there's like 20 different asparagus here that are popping up I got boysenberry bush here uh, let's see let me try and get a little bit closer <clears throat> there's another boysenberry boysenberry right next to some more thistle another boysenberry and then if you look back here, we got some moon vine with whatever these berries are. And I've got some, I know it's scary touching thistle, but here's some wild Indiana strawberries that have come up, which is gonna add to the diversity of the type of sugars that are gonna go into the soil and diversify uh, my soil itself, so I'm more than happy to let that stuff grow. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's supposed to be a raspberry. I'm not. I don't know. But we've got violets growing. Then we've got some of this. I always forget all the stuff that I planted. Oh, here's a blueberry. And then, yep, two blueberries right here that are growing. So unless you know what you're looking for, it just looks like a bunch of wood chips next to some thistle and whatever else. You don't realize that there's raspberries there, strawberries or violets growing in there. And of course, all the elderberry and boysenberries and asparagus and onions. Then you have kind of a just a blank spot and I've probably planted a bunch of stuff it just hasn't popped up yet but here's a cold hardy banana plant next to two blackberries two more blackberries uh, looks like a dandelion which is awesome they have a long tap root um, so when and it puts in all sorts of different more nutrients into the leaves then in the winter when it dies, it puts all that back right on top of the soil for it to leach down through the wood chips. And we got a, 
another thistle that I've cut down, and then right behind there, I've, I've grapes that have volunteered themselves. And I have grapes coming through on here. Here's one, looks like an elderberry that has decided to drop its leaves for whatever reason. And hope we will see that one in the spring come up from a new shoot. A lot of times when you plant stuff, it'll put all of its energy back into the roots and then consolidate its energy and then re-sprout. So even though it does look a little wild, there's actually 40, maybe 35 different plants that I've planted through here. And there's other things um, that are fixing the soil and adding, you know, putting sugars in the ground and rebuilding the soil. So um, even next year, and it's been interesting watching uh, this land and my, uh, the land at my house change over time is these thistle, uh, which is how the way that geology and soil science work, that next year a lot of this thistle might not even come up. It'll be replaced with violets or maybe more grapes or something like that. Um, and as these raspberry bushes and elderberry bushes and all these other things pop up and start shading out the soil, it'll change the, the you know, how much sun is getting to the soil and that'll change the germination conditions for a lot of these things. So uh, I just kind of wanted to do that real quick. Like I said, the reason why I cut down some of this thistle was just to, um, not create any shade because I do have smaller plants that have been planted here. So I don't want like this thistle getting super tall to shade out this. I want, for example, I want my bush to be higher than this, the thistle. Yeah, you can see that everything is about the same level. That's higher in the back, but I don't have anything planted back there. So everything's really growing quite well here. Um, there's still a few, probably about five strawberry plants that haven't popped up yet. And I planted a whole bunch of elderberry cuttings along the back and we'll see what those do. All I got for today, I just wanted to do that where um, comparing what I used to think was just a mess and it was just weeds and stuff like that, all these things have a purpose. And if I want to have a productive productive area where it's producing a lot of food. I need to know what the soil is doing, what these weeds are doing, actually doing, really, um, before I start, you know, just thinking bad things and thinking that's a mess. Um, having tags helps. I know at my house, I actually put a whole bunch of different flags where, you know, 800 trees had popped up, um, just to make it obvious, like, there is something here. Um, and it's just uh, kind of a sad fact that <clears throat> at least I didn't grow up learning any of this information, so um, doesn't mean that other people don't know, but I think society as a whole don't, they don't really recognize anything that isn't flower, you know, if it's not a flower or a, maybe a zucchini, they wouldn't really recognize what it is or how these plants grow, so I want to say, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll get this uploaded, which is pretty cool. I wanted to check on this property anyways, get a quick video made and uploaded. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.